Oh my goodness. It is the nudes collection. No wonder. Hey guys, it's me. Happy Friday. Yay, the end of the week. I have, it's one of those days. It's like, brrr, I have so much stuff to show you that I'm excited about. And I love that. But the first thing I want to show you is some new lipsticks I got from House of Siage. They actually had sent me some lip balms that I've been meaning to show you. But I'll be honest with you, I'm more excited about the lipsticks. So I will put the link to everything or to their website down below. But I just got these yesterday or last night. Um, the UPS guy came. I already had my nightgown on and my hair in a towel. I just opened the door. It wasn't like a, it wasn't a sexy nightgown. Let's look at the case that they sent. Let's see what color it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's orange. Like a really, almost like Hermes orange. Mm. I love that. I, would, I brought this out here because this is my favorite to date. This is my favorite case. I don't know. I like the Wonder Woman too. That one was another favorite. And I love this lipstick. This is mine and Tammy's favorite. And I believe it's called Baron. I'll make sure. And, but it's a good nude Look at that. Now I have learned not to wear this with like my typical Lancome Ideal. You want to wear this with something like I've got on now, which is the Rose Natural from Chanel. Because this is so pretty. The color is so pretty like it is, you don't want to change it a lot. And these have little like diamond powder in them, and they are just beautiful lipsticks. One day, Tammy wore this in one of her hair videos, and I still hadn't gotten over it. I'll still say, what lip liner do you have on? We talk about this lipstick. Oh my goodness, it is the Nudes collection. No wonder, no wonder I just opened it up and I left it in there. So it's Nudes for everyone. Introducing the Diamond Powder Satin Lipstick Nudes Collection with seven shades of luxurious nude lipsticks for the ultimate femme fatale. Explore, that's me, isn't it? <laughs> Explore luminous lipstick colors from bare nudes to color rich neutrals. Enriched with vitamin E, precious crushed white diamond powder for a lovely feeling of hydration and radiance. They really do have radiance. A perfectly balanced weightless and creamy formula for the ultimate shine and full coverage with satin finish. So let's get right into this. And I'm not going to try on every one. I'm going to, let's put one on. And I'm, you know, I'm going right to this one that has like a peachy undertone. And something they do now that I love is they put the name on the, like, refill because you know the whole concept of this is you have that you buy a case and then you can put all of your different like refills or whatever in it and I can't get this one out I hope I don't have to get brutal here I don't want to have to start tearing stuff up oh, oh my goodness we're gonna love this so much can you see my heart is like pounding okay so I'm gonna put this in here because I feel very certain it's going to be my favorite. Okay, so you take this out of the, this is like a temporary type case, but you do store them. Like say you're going to change another lipstick to put in here, you would take this out and you would store it back in this case. So this is called Nude Sakura, Sakura, S-A-K-U-R-A. -A. Okay, so I've got it in here. Let's get my mirror. And then when you put it in here, it rolls up nicely. You guys, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Perfection. Absolute 
perfection. I am, what is the, I am shook to my core. Okay, I want to swatch this right beside the other one. It is so pretty. Oh, gosh. I mean, look at the finish of it. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. And now I've got this beautiful little thing to put in my purse. Although I might have to order another one to keep. I like, if I really love a color, I like to keep it in my purse and keep it in the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Okay. That has got me. So now let's go to the next lightest, I would say, would be Golden Hour. I'm going to have to get my tweezers. Okay. I brought uh, Celeste out here in case I need it. And I think I would have liked this even better or even more with my typical, like Lancome Ideal or Bobbi Brown Cocoa or any of those. Um, I'm just so excited. Okay, so I'm going to open up the bottom and I'm going to push the sucker out. So they do have the names on the bottom. And then, like I said, now the refills come with the name on the side too. You probably can't see that because it's in white. Okay, let's see. Okay, golden hour is going to be a little bit more of your brown undertone where that's a peach undertone. That's almost like a, yeah, it's definitely a peach undertone. I think you may be able to see when I do like this a little better. So let's, oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. That's still got a peachy undertone. It's just not as white. It doesn't have the white in it like this does. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I feel like I should change, but then you won't get the true color. Okay, this best, this is the best, I think this is the best thing they've ever sent me. Other than, I do love my fragrances that are from the Whispers Garden. Those are my favorite fragrances. So the next one they've got here is Tender Tone. Okay, here's Tender Tone. Boy. I mean, I don't know if it just, I don't know if it gets any better than that. Those colors are gorgeous. Now remember, this is barren. That's Tender Tone. Just beautiful. This one is Peachfully Speaking. How did I not grab that one? Okay, so let's do Peachfully Speaking right here. Okay, so here we're going to, this is where we start getting a little bit more pigment, but still a gorgeous nude color. This is going to be your My Lips But Better. I don't see a lot of peach. I see more of like a rosy undertone to that, but beautiful. Next one is Nude Siren. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be good. I can tell already. Okay, let's do Nude Siren right here. Okay, this is definitely more pink. <laughs> I won't do my hand puppet. Beautiful. This is a brighter, my lips but better, a brighter, pinkier tone. Just, I mean, gorgeous. And the next one is the bombshell. One of my favorite words. Now we're getting for darker skin tones. Okay, let's see. Let's do this right here. Very smooth. Okay, this is Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Very similar to like a, a um, what am I trying to say? That fragrance. For, for some reason, I keep wanting to say Benefit. Burberry. Very close to one of those Burberry colors where it's a brighter color, but it's in a very muted, classy way. Gorgeous. Not a dud in the bunch yet. We got one more to go that is called Exotic Rosewood. This is what it looks like from the bullet. And I'm going to do it right here. Beautiful. Kind of like, gosh, and the sheen on these is so pretty. I hope you can see that. 
just, what would this be like? It is a beautiful color. Like if you like Velvet Teddy, you'll like this. Oh, this is a good 90s lip. This is a good 90s supermodel lip. Just beautiful, gorgeous. So thank you so much to House of Siage for sending that to me. It's not sponsored. I don't have to show it. I wasn't planning on showing it. It's just I was, I knew last night when I looked at that bunch, I was like, ooh, I'm going to wear one of those tomorrow. And then it just okay, went. So I just went back to my bathroom, and I was getting my swatches off. And so I removed that, and I put um, the L'Oreal Mastermind, and I want to apply this again. I just can't get over this. Okay. They were all so pretty. You can tell these have some staying power too. They like go into your lips. And then I'm gonna add, because everything's better, with just a dab of Buxom Celeste. Just a dab. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and do the giveaway winner for last week. It was the Fit Glow Gloss in buff which is one of my favorite ones that one and b from the beautiful collection and the night lip serum both of these just fabulous i gave my mom some of these that were a little bit too dark or too much color for me and she loves them she said that lip gloss you gave me like this i really like it and i was thinking yeah they're nice <laughs> the winner of these from last week's video is Lola Reed, Lola Reed, please email me your information. And this week, I thought I would send some skincare. This is from the Paracone MD. It's the Vitamin C Ester Citrus Brightening Cleanser and the Vitamin C Ester, which is the good stuff, CCC Ferulic Brightening Complex, 20%. Wow. Maybe I should keep this. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Vitamin C, ester, ferulic acid, and vitamin E. This is some good stuff. So this is going to be this week's prize. And all you have to do is you have to be subscribed and you have to leave a comment down below. And then I will, at very random, choose one and then announce it next week. And okay, now on to probably my... No, I can't say favorite purchase because I got so many good things, but one of my favorite purchases, and this was kind of unexpected. And the only reason I think I went ahead and got it is because Tammy was telling me how much she liked it, but I ordered this Tom Ford foundation. You can see, I don't know if that's normal for them to get kind of yucky right there. I've only used it twice. I used it yesterday in a video that you will see this weekend, and I used it today it is just the coolest foundation how can something be matte but still glowy thin but have great coverage and still look like skin i mean you can still see some of my skin through it but yet it really covers because my main concern is redness that's what keeps me i don't have like a lot of spots or acne or anything like that to cover i just have an overall redness to my face skin it is beautiful i've been applying it with the colleen rothschild sponge and from the first dab i knew i was going to love it and i just think you're going to love it it's now i haven't tried a bunch of tom ford foundations this one is the traceless soft matte i'm assuming it's the new one and the color I got is Ivory Beige, 5.6. But Tammy likes the Dune, which I believe is 5 point something. So I am going to order that. I was thinking, I know there's a, a Sephora VIB Rouge and everything sale coming up. Would you guys like to see what I have in my cart? Because I have this in my cart. And I have some other stuff, too. I went ahead and did some shopping or like, you know, pre-shopping today let me know if you'd like to see what i am getting but i have this and the only reason i'm getting another color is because it i don't know it looks kind of perfect right now but i'm scared it'll get too dark it's the medium neutral shade 
but I'm scared it might just be a hair too dark. So I am going to order the other one and I love it. I love it. It lasted all day. It came off nicely. I mean, it's just, I can't say a negative thing about it. Okay, another thing that I had ordered is to go along with my Master Mattes palette from Mario. Love this. Love it. It's been one of my favorite. This and the Natasha Glam palette and the Tom Ford Mink Mirage. Those have been my go-to palettes. I ordered this one to go with it, and it is the Master Metallics. And I just got it, I guess, day before yesterday when I got that in the same order. And so far, I have loved it. Now, you know a lot of these colors are kind of crazy for me, so I've been using this color um, and this color and this color. And so what I did like today is I do it on my lid and you can see I put a little bit of those darker colors on the outside but what I'm going to do soon is this color like with my liner oh smoke your liner out with this be gorgeous it'll be a definite like bombshell look I'll take this off of the mirror here but so far very 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 impressed with his shadows this one was I wouldn't say this was a bad purchase because I would have wanted to know and I do think it's worth it because ColourPop is the price is so good but I got that the whole um, that's taupe collection from ColourPop and the only thing I kept for myself I gave Brooke most of it but I kept this palette and it just doesn't compare to this palette which I think is the ultimate taupe palette but I just wanted to show you kind of side by side. These colors are just a lot lighter. So if you're like wanting something that's taupey but much lighter than you would like this, but this palette is amazing. And then I kept, they do have great, these are, they're called the Super Shock Shadows. They do make great, great, you know, like really frosty shadows. I would say, I would say it's worth it. I would still prefer the Going Coconuts palette. I think it is the best thing I've ever tried from ColourPop. I think I want to stand up for the next few things I want to show you and then I'll do my outfit of the day. But this is a pair of boots that I just got yesterday and I, the UPS came late yesterday and I ordered these from Revolve. I was just looking on their website, just looking at the black boots, and I came across these, and they're the Schutz brand, which I always love the Schutz boots. And I have not tried them on yet, but I love them. I wanted a nice, basic pair of boots, black with a black heel, and look, not too pointy, not too rounded, not square, just the classic black boots that will go with any slip dress, will go with leggings, will go with jeans, I mean anything. Like there's no, like there's no, I hate to say there's no style to them, but they're just plain enough that you can wear them with anything. So we're going to try them on and they were not crazy expensive. This is something I like too. Look how like soft and everything they are. They're gonna like mold to your feet. I love them. Okay, and then, let's see, I'll sit for this. Before I stand up, I'm gonna show you. I just ordered my last pair of leggings for our legging video. I, I've, so I've got, let's see, I've got one faux leather pair. I've got one print black but printed pair. And then the other ones, I've got, or I'm not, I don't want to tell you the brands, but I've got a good array of the different kinds of black leggings. I wasn't going to show you these yet, but I just have to. I thought, well, I'll order some cheaper ones from Amazon and just see how they are. So I ordered this set. I can't even remember the name. I'll have to look it up. But they came with three pair. And I thought, you know, Brooke and I can share these. And when I took them out, no, I had already taken one pair out. But I came out here and got them out of the pile because I was like, I want to wear some leggings today. I want to be comfortable. And when I felt them, I thought, oh, these can't be the cheap ones because they feel too good. And I like looked, and then I looked, and they are just so nice. Now, I don't know, like, far as being see-through and all that kind of stuff, but I've got those on. And then, here, let me stand up. So here are the leggings. They 
feel like I don't even know what to tell you. They're so soft, they feel like baby clothes. And they're like, they have this like velvety feeling. They're not, they're, you know, thin, not crazy thin, but thinner. They feel these, and look how high they go up. I mean, they go up so high on my long torso. And so I wanted to just wear something comfy and casual today. And so I've got on my Anin Bing, the ultimate graphic tee for this whole rocker vibe. And then this is my faux leather blazer. And then here are the boots. And I think they're perfect. There's a little bit of sassy here. They are actually a generous eight. Like my toe is not at the end of them. And they really have a beautiful silhouette. They're just pointy enough to give you that little bit of rocker. I think these are going to be great, great boots. I'm very excited about these. But I wanted to show you this just because I think these will look good too. Remember these? This is the kind of outfit I was talking about wearing these with. So I'm going to put these on real quick. I mean, definitely a different look. And even if you like didn't have on this and you were just wearing like a big oversized t-shirt and leggings and then you threw these on and these have like a rubbery sole so they are just like tennis shoes they're so comfortable but such a good outfit you know a big long sweater a big faux fur your moto just anything i think these are really cool boots and these are from my walmart haul and the last couple of things I bought, this is from Revolve 2. I bought, remember when I bought a bunch of the Commando bodysuits? That's what I think first got me into loving the bodysuits. And I just love them. And I wanted to get some different ones because I wear the same ones all the time, which there's nothing really wrong with that. I'm going to try this one. They're one size fits all. They're really, really stretchy. And there's something special about that, having that base layer that's fitted and snug and just feels good and then i also ordered this one from revolve and it is from yummy so it's kind of like shapewear also but it has the high um, mock neck like that then look at what i got i got another robe from mason gray I went on there. I just wanted another one because I literally wear mine every day, every day. And so I thought, well, I want a different one. And I just couldn't find another pattern I liked as much as the stars. I just really like this. And so I just got this color combination. And it's just the best robe I've ever had. I don't think I've ever worn one as much as I wear this one. And then they sent me a scrunchie too to match. For accessories, I have on my Sheila earrings. I've just been liking these and they're easy to throw in. Thought I'd put on my black castle ring. I dread editing this video because I've talked so much. And that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Please don't forget to subscribe and share me with your friends. And I will see you this weekend. Bye-bye.